So yesterday, um, got to the delivery point on a bay, not a problem, got it all off. When I started doing the lorry again, um, leveled the trailer up and the light on the dash came up with a high air consumption, which means, um, well, as it says, it's using too much air, but it's, it's not using it. It means it's making, having to make too much air. So generally there's an air leak somewhere. So it doesn't have to, um, yeah, I have to wear my glasses for a little while because my eyes are a bit poorly. Anyway, I hate them. <laughs> but besides that, um, so it means there's an air leak. Now, quite often it's an airbag or something like that, but it didn't come up red. So it wasn't massive, but obviously something that I had to deal with. Something that my brother um, taught me bush mechanics as well. So just to get you out of, so you didn't have to, don't have to claim, call a mechanic out or faff about. So my pal, my, my pal that has everything, um, gave me, hang on, how do I turn this round? Turning round. So, my pal who has everything gave me a box lots of months ago, it must be a few years now, just that he had hanging about from when he used to do Italy. And what it's got is pipe connectors in different sizes. I don't know if you can make that out, probably not because it's the wrong end. Try that end. It's got the sizes just on the red bit tells you that one is on. that one that one's ten minute ten mil. I know with my glasses on I can't see a thing. So that one's ten mil and what you do is cut the pipe, cut the bad bit out, put one piece in that end, put another piece in that end, and then just pull them a little bit so that these little red bits come out and you'll see inside it holds on to when you pull it out a little bit it's see inside it grabs hold of the pipe and that bridges the gap between the two these have got little bits that you can put um little holes that you can put um cable tie through to tighten it up keep it tight so he's given me 10 mil which i think is too big he's given me different different things i've had these in this in this box of things that you don't need, including a spare kettle um, that you carry everywhere. Um, I've had these for ever. It's just one of them little boxes that at some point is going to be handy. So after looking in the little box um, at the size we want, that's six mil. I don't think that's it's that small. I think I did speak to the mechanic and um, couldn't really help because he's in Birmingham and I'm here. Um, so we think it's going to be eight mil. Asked him what size the pipe was. We think it's going to be eight mil. So um, I'll uh, give it a go. Right, the pipe that's gone is underneath the grill. Um, right next to the oil dipstick and the oil filler, there's this pipe. Now this pipe, if you break down, this pipe has an air supply to it, but it's like a spare pipe. So if you break down and they need to take the brakes off and you have got don't want to run the engine, they can plug into this. You can plug your, um, if you want to blow tyres up, you can plug this. It's, it's basically a spare connection. Now that pipe, if you can see, Oh, oh, do you like me do you like my gloves? Freebie from the guy that also gave me the pipe connectors, my mate Stan. Um, because I might be a lorry driver, but I still don't want to ruin my nails. Anyway, besides that, uh, so this pipe runs all the way down here and goes down. Now I have put a connector in it, I couldn't video it because I'm not that good at the camera work. So I put a connector in there see it. I'll show you the bit I cut off. Now what's been happening is it's been rubbing 
that there is the water bottle there and it's been rubbing on the inside of the washer bottle pipe there. It's been rubbing that. So because it was all um, cable tied up to everything and it was quite tight now, I can't I can't cut any more off it. I just it was I'll show you the fragment in a minute. But I can't cut any more off it because the pipe the pipe's not gonna be long enough. Now if this doesn't work, we can I can always um cable tie that bottom bit just crimp it over a couple of times and cable tie it but that's how um, that's, the, that's how the pipe connector works I've just cut it off cut the bit off the bad bit out and put it in both sides now it doesn't leak but at the same time I'm going to cable tie it up a bit and I'm going to um, put a bit of tape on it just to be sure to be sure and we'll see how it goes so what I've done Just to try and hold, make sure it, it it's a bit protected, and and I've put a couple of ta cable ties. I will cut them off so they look a bit neater. But I'm trying to keep it away from where it was rubbing before. If you can see, it's not a very good picture. A bit better. So I'm trying to keep it away from where it was rubbing before. The ends of the cable ties and that. And it was a really difficult place to um, to get into. I had to take all this off, take all this off, but I couldn't get in that way, but it just gave me a bit of extra room, it was very difficult to get into. So what I'll do is when I get back to, when I get back in, is uh, get them to replace this hose, this pipe, um, well just check it really, get them to replace the pipe if they think it needs replacing, but the, the, um, the pipe connector should work anyway. Uh, I've never had a failure yet. Check the oil and water while I'm still still and while the engine's cold. Um, it's never a problem, but actually because I've been sat here overnight and it's not um, it's not running, always check the engine and always check it cold. And then I'll start it and I'll see where we are with the air leak. off but I need two hands it's always stiff I'm the only one that puts it on and off but it's always stiff so uh, I'll check that too that off. So, yeah and we have water just dip it in there's the fill lines here the way usually goes so as long as you can get them you've got water that's fine it's pink because it's got the cool, proper coolant in. Never usually takes much. It shouldn't do. 
it does if it gets below a certain point I'm not sure where the it's usually if it gets to a bit below here the light will come in on in the cab anyway but at the same time you need to check it while it's cold like a car so we've checked that we'll go back to the oil now um, don't know if you can see it because it's clean oil that's much better it's up to there there you go that's better it's up to there so that's don't want to go any further than that that's that now started the engine as you can hear now can't hear anything. That little hold, and you wouldn't believe you could hear it for a mile off. And I can't feel anything. Can't, you wouldn't believe how much that little hole let everything out. So, worst case scenario now is that the um, pipe connector does hold. So, what I'll do then is the bottom pipe is where the air is coming in. So, I shall um, just stop, uh, well, I will stop because I have to, and just crimp that bottom pipe over. So, all good. So we did that bit of a job. Uh, it didn't take long really. It was just fiddly because it was in a really bad place. Um, I didn't realise that these shorts were very forgiving on my backside. <laughs> so uh, I've tried to edit out the R shots. Uh, I'll remember to wear something a little bit better, wear <laughs> a bit more backside appropriate if I ever do if I do a video with me in it again. Um, what can I say? It follows me around. <laughs> I apologise. But anyway, uh, if to me, if you can do a job, try and do it. Now, this vehicle is regularly maintained. Um, every six weeks, it, everything's fine. Mechanic's good and everything. He's always on the phone if I need him. Not a problem. But things like this, a pipe rubbing and that, aren't something that can be foreseen. You try and do your best to make sure that those things don't happen, but they do. And when you're out doing the amount of miles that we do, it just happens. So if you can give it a go and fix it, I've got the pipe connectors and that, or bulbs, those sort of things. If you can change them, change them. I know people say that you shouldn't have to do it. No, you shouldn't have to do it. And no, I didn't have to do it. I could have got Scania out. I could have gone to a garage or whatever and asked them to do it. But to me, pennies make pounds. And while you're paying somebody else to fix something, it's not in your pocket so if you can fix it it saves you it saves you extra money and even if you work for somebody else if you can give it a go then it saves them money which in the long term means that they can give you a pay rise you know so that's just my view on things and you know um the maintenance or anything any job like that that you have done in europe will cost you a fortune we're talking triple the price as what in, is in the uk so if you can fix it or get it so you can get home it's going to be always cheaper to get it fixed in the uk it's just one of those things from changing a tire to doing a small repair like that it's still going to cost you a fortune personally um i or if i do have to go into a garage i try not to use scania i try and uh, use local mechanics who a are always appreciated of the work because I mean I am myself I'm I always always appreciate the work but at the same time they tend to go out of their way to, to help because they know how hard it is to make money so like I said worst case scenario I have to creep that pipe over and put a couple of cable ties on it just to get to the back to the UK but hopefully and I've never had the one fail hopefully the um, connector works okay so Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I should try and wear some be better clothes to next time. More, um, yeah, more forgiving. But anyway, there you go. But um, if you can, just uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, that would be really good. It lets me know you're all there. And uh, leave a comment, not a problem either. And if you press the little bell that's somewhere on there, then it will let you know when I'm 
I post again. And again, it doesn't cost you anything. So everybody take care. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.